Hello, I'm Paul Curry here at the world's most expensive poker tournament, the $100,000 buy-in event at the Aussie Millions. Risking that kind of money grub, that's got to make some of these players nervous. Oh, for most people, it's an eye-watering amount of cash. And you're right, even for superstars at the highest echelons of the game, losing that is going to put a dent in their bankroll. But it's precisely this element of danger that gives this game an edge that other games just don't have. We started with 24 and we've lost just one. The Hungarian billionaire Sandor Demjan went out early. To the few wealthy amateurs who are trying to win the title, do they have a chance? In a big event like the WSOP, I'd say no. They couldn't ride their luck for seven days. But there are only two dozen players here and if fortune grins at them and they're aggressive enough when it comes to the crunch, they certainly have a puncher's chance against the best in the world. Three tables are in play, but let's take a look at our feature table. The button is on Eric Lindgren, and what a table this is. There is David Stikey. Five folds. Six folds four. around to David. Seven he gets out of the way. Chris Ferguson. Throws away Eight a jack four. nine offsuit, and there is Eric Seidel. And he picks up pocket nines and raises in the cutoff. Gus Hansen. Looking down at a decent ace queen. Interested to learn that the Gus is short for Gustav. It was assumed it'd be Augustus or something like that. <laughs> Gustav Hans. Well, Gus re raises with his ace queen of hearts. Jeff Lissandro folds king queen off suit. Back round to Eric Seidel, who moves the rest of his chips in. And is quickly called by Gus. So Eric Seidel is all in here. He is a slight favourite. Let's see a flop. And here is the flop. It is a King Jack 7 all clubs flop. That gives Gus Hansen a straight draw. Can Eric stay alive? He's still ahead. The turn is a 10 of spades. That gives Gus the Broadway straight. And the river is a meaningless jack of diamonds, so Gus Hansen eliminates Eric Seidel. Well, that ain't right. Big round of applause from our very appreciative audience. And Gus collects the rest of Eric's chips. <laughs> Eric Seidel, one of the best known players on the planet, but today's 100,000 buy-in event, it wasn't your day. Talk, talk me through what happened. It wasn't, no. No, actually, pretty much nothing went right today, so it took me a couple hours to get rid of a high-priced car, and uh, <laughs> now, now I'm off on my way. Do you find that there's more pressure on you when you've got such a big buy-in like that? Not really, no. It's just it's kind of a fun event, you know, and we all know each other, so it's a pretty friendly atmosphere. Lines are 1,000, 2,000. The button is on David Stikey. I'm up. Really? The action is on Gus Hansen. Three folds. Two folds, a 6-7 off suit. Four folds. One way round to six. David Eldar, who picks up a suited connector. Nine, six ten raises. of diamonds. Six. And raises to 6,000. Seven folds. Ferguson has the royal family, the king and the queen. He decides to have a peep at a flop. And 
We are two to the flop. It is an ace queen four two diamonds flop. Seats eight and six, eight checks. Middle pair six. for Ferguson. Six bets. But Elder choosing to represent the ace. He does have a decent flush draw. Bets six thousand into the pot. Chris Ferguson just electing to call here. The turn, a five of spades. Ferguson's queen still best, but Eldar with that flush draw. He checks it over to David. Eldar was a scrabble phenomenon as a young man. Won a great many championships. He bets 16 and a half thousand. And he's hoping that that will spell a fold. Chris Ferguson, one of the most recognisable poker players in the world. He folds, so David Eldar makes a move with a flush draw and it worked very nicely. You have an interesting background coming into the professional poker world. You're actually a Scrabble champion. Um, yeah, I much prefer playing Scrabble to poker. I like travel the world and play. Okay, so you're a Melbourne boy. The Aussie Millions is based here at Crown Casino in Melbourne. Do you yeah. feel an extra expectation? How much would it mean to you to oh, do well here? No, the same, really. It's just really convenient that I can drive here. <laughs> Blinds still one and two thousand. Button in front of David Elder. So it'll be Eric E Dog Lindgren to act first. He flat calls with the pocket tens. Three folds. Well, that's an interesting call under the gun. With pocket tens, a strong hand. That has invited John Duanda to join the party with 7-5 of clubs. Seven calls. Stikey has bigger clubs, the ace and the four. And look at this. Pocket kings for Chris Ferguson. Now, kings don't like too much company. Four players in there. He decides to thin the field a little. It'll be interesting to see what Eric Lindgren does here with pocket tens. Two calls. He makes the call. Of course, the problem is because he called and just called the raise, he doesn't really have much information about Chris Ferguson's hand strength. And David Stocky looks like he's coming along for a ride. Seven calls. Well, Stocky must be dreaming of clover. He's hoping to hit some clubs. Eight, third is two. This pot building nicely. Uh, Eric could end up in a lot of trouble right here. Eight bets. 25,000. Stikey checked to Ferguson, who bet out. Well, when he bets that amount, he's clearly hoping that he'll get a raise. And Eric might fall for this. He really has no information on Chris Ferguson here. He's asked for extra time. He's thrown in his time extension button, of course, giving him an extra 30 seconds to act. Each player gets two of those. And look at this. All in. Eric Lindgren moves all in. Stikey gets out of the way. Hard to see Ferguson laying these down. And here come the chips. <laughs> Prove the point. <laughs> oh, well, Eric Lindgren in a lot of trouble. Yeah, running cards for a straight or a flush. Or he's going to have to hit. One of the tens. Or a nine on the turn will give him out. Ferguson still in front. But his fate lies in this river card. A jack, six or ten for Lindgren. And the river is a six, so Eric Lindgren makes his straight and cracks Ferguson's kings.
Bad news for Chris Ferguson because Lindgren had him covered. So that's all she wrote. Too religious down here. That was some Jesus bashing right there. I doubled you up twice. Well, these guys have played together many times, but it doesn't matter how many times you played poker. That really does hurt. And a big round of applause for Chris Ferguson. This crowd really loves watching all these superstars. Hope they're not too religious down here. That was some Jesus bashing right there. It's never good to lose on a thousand like that. But, uh, <laughs> gave it a shot. The cowboy hat's become a trademark of yours. Do you change them up or do you stick with the same one? Actually, I have another cowboy hat now. Um, but this is my traveling cowboy hat. I don't like putting it in these, you know, they get squished when you travel with them. But I got a new one for the World Series this year. Aha, uh -huh. so will it be a lucky hat, do you think? I sure hope so. Lines still 1,500, 3,000. Button on Eric Lindgren. So the action will be on John Juanda. Resplendent in orange. He passes his cards, as does David Elder. Five folds, six folds. Round to David Stikey, and he wants Seven to play. Eight Suited eight ace five of clubs for Stikey. Of course, the start bank is 100,000 in chips, so you will see a fair bit of poker here. Interesting ranges these players have. The deeper the stack, the more they play. Lissandro being offered a free ride with the six deuce of spades, and he takes that. So four players to the flop. Four players. That's Comes three. down nine, four, three. Two hearts Seven. there for Hansen. A straight draw Check. for Stikey and Lissandro. Check. It is checked round. Check. Well, it checks to Eric, and he's going to fire. He's got the button. Nothing like position here. And Gus has a flush draw, so I can't imagine he's going anywhere. He must be thinking about a raise, but in this instance, he's elected to call. Call is good enough to get rid of the two gut shot straight draws. And look at that. There is Hansen's flush. Interesting to see whether Gus fires here. Well, he has such a big range of starting hands. He is a master of disguise in that respect. He'll be wanting to build the pot, but he won't want to give away the strength of his hand. And it's unlucky for him that Lindgren has absolutely nothing. And so it should be bet and fold here. And this Lindgren down. is feeling saucy. Well, Gus bets 14,000 trying to get... E dog to bite. Two folds. And he lets it go. So Gus takes the pot. Covering 510,000 square metres, the equivalent of two city blocks, Melbourne's premier entertainment complex is recognised as the largest and most diverse in the Southern Hemisphere. Crown's integrated facilities feature Crown Casino with 350 tables and 2,500 gaming machines. Visitors can stay at Crown Towers, a five-star ultra-high luxury property, and Crown Promenade, a relaxed, affordable, contemporary accommodation. As well as gaming, the Crown Complex also has more than 40 restaurants and 30 bars, as well as two nightclubs. Add in an extensive collection of international designer boutiques, 14 cinemas and a live entertainment theatre, and you have one of the best and most luxurious properties anywhere in the world. <laughs> 